Hey you guys and welcome, Vicki Marie, your host. I am back, excuse me, I'm back, I've been sick, but I'm getting better, so bear with me. But I'm blessed I have each and every one of you guys. I missed and loved you guys. Uh, love you guys. Um, thanks for being here and tuning in and joining me, you guys. Um, on that note, God has given me a message to deliver to you guys, and it can't wait any longer. Um, he's given it to me a couple days ago, and I was in worship and everything, and here I am. Um, he said, you can't wait. And I said, okay, i got to do what i got to do. <clears throat> so I am here you guys to deliver this message um, so if you would go with me to Revelation chapter 20 verse 3 and 4 I would very much appreciate that King James Version you guys and cast him into the bottomless pit and shut him up and set a seal upon him that he should deceive the nations no more till the thousand years should be fulfilled and after that he must be loose a little season and I saw thrones, and they sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Jesus, and for the word of God, and which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands. And they lived and risen with Christ a thousand years. Now go with me to uh, set verse 7. And when the thousand years are expired, Satan shall be loosed out of his prison. Now, um, this is very important. Okay, um, let's go to 10. And the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone where the beast and the false prophet are. Um, and shall be tortured day and night forever and ever. 11. And I saw a great white throne and him that sat on it from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away. And there was found no place for him. 12. And... I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God, and the books were open, and another book was open, which is the book of life, and the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works. 13. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it, and death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them, and they were judged every man according to their works. And death shall, uh, excuse me, and death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. Um, Fifteen. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Why is this important? Why is this important? Okay. Well, this is why this is important, you guys. Uh, you know. Uh, the seven-year tribulation is about to begin. God has revealed that to me the other day. When I was in worship, okay, he, he revealed to me that the seven-year tribulation is fixing to happen with Israel. Okay, and, um, and the two witnesses is going to step on scene here soon. I don't know when. All this is going to take place, all I know is soon. How soon, I don't know. But I know soon. And the Antichrist will soon appear. That is all I know. I don't know much about Antichrist on when he's going to appear and can care less. I just rather my Jesus come and that's it. But everything has fallen into Bible prophecy and not just that. You know, when God reveals something to you, and, and if you don't go and tell the people, that's not a good thing. You've got to tell the people if they hear you or not. We are going to be crucified. You know, we are going to be in prison in the name of Jesus. That is what is happening. That is fixing to get worse and more stronger than ever before. So I say to you, to those that believe in the name of Jesus, put the armor of God on now and fully in the name of Jesus because time is up.
It is up to you what you choose and how you choose your life. If you want to live for the devil or you want to live because you believe in God and you believe in the name of Jesus. I am here and I'm, I'm telling you in the name of Jesus as I am his child. He is coming. Bible prophecy is unfolding right before our eyes. The seven year tribulation is about to begin. He has shown me. The two witnesses is about to be on scene, folks. Things is unfolding quickly. And when God shows you something, you've got to take it to heart. And it's something I had to share with each and every one of you guys to wake you up. Ah, if you get scared, that is okay. But you trust in the Lord. Don't get scared. Come on now. I ain't lying. <coughs> you know, that is the time and the hour it is that um, we are living in right now, you guys. Look around. The signs in the heavens, okay? In Michigan, the rain turned black. Black rain in Michigan. Waters flooding everywhere. Earthquakes. All different kinds of sickness going on. And viruses have taken place in these very last days, you guys. The heavens have been shaken. The gates of hell is about to open. And the heavens is about to unfold. Are you washed in the blood of Jesus? Because I'm telling you what, if you're not washed in the blood of Jesus, what does it say in Revelation chapter 20, verse 15? And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. You do not want to be one of them. You do not want to burn for the rest of your life. You think just a little burn on your finger? Talk about your whole body. Think about your whole body being burnt for the rest of your life. And all that pain it is you're going to be in. But if you believe in the name of Jesus, you don't have to worry about that burning in the furnace, in the fire. You can rejoice. And you'll have peace and joy and happiness. And no more pain and no more tears. <laughs> Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, I tell you what. You know, when I talk about Jesus, it fulfills me. I feel joy and peace and happiness, man. Oh, my God, he brings peace and joy into my life. He's changed me, praise God. But the message is, is the tribulation is about to begin. The Antichrist is about to appear. And the two witnesses is about to step on scene. You know, um... That has been revealed into me. My dreams is about to happen. Some's already happened, but the previous ones that I've just had, that I've shared with you guys, it is about to unfold. So it is up to you what you choose. But I'm telling you, better you better be obedient to the Lord in these very last days. Walk in the right path in the name of Jesus. Get to know who He is in the name of Jesus. And if I'm preaching, I'm not sorry for it. If I'm teaching, I'm not sorry for it. Because I'm doing what God told me to do. And I didn't expect to be doing this, but sweetness, I'm doing it in the name of Jesus. And I do it to my kids all the time. I'm not lying. When God puts something on me to do, you just got to roll with it. You just got to roll with it. I ain't lying. <coughs> I mean, sometimes I'm thinking, God, I can't do this. Look at me today. But he says, it doesn't matter. Get the message out to the people and let the people know what is going on, my child. I got you covered. You look good to me. I love you. You are my daughter. I don't care what you look like, but I do know your soul. That's the most important thing here. So anyway, sorry it took 10 minutes apparently, but uh, the tribulation and the three witnesses and the Antichrist is about to appear. So are you washed in the blood of Jesus? Do you know who Jesus Christ is? The one who died on the cross that saved you from your sins. That you're able to be reborn again and to see things in a godly way than in an evil way. Or the way you were before to be cleansed in the blood of Jesus. Oh.